The Supreme Court has released its detailed judgment on the dismissed 2022 presidential election petition against William Ruto, giving drastic recommendations, particularly on the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. As Duncan Kayama reports, the court is also recommending constitutional reforms for the extension of the 14-day limit on the hearing and determination of the presidential election petition for the purposes of effective case management. The apex court which validated William Ruto's election as Kenya's fifth president on September 5th has finally delivered its detailed judgment on the presidential election petition elaborately stating reasons for the dismissal of the petition, which has earned the top court condemnation from Azimiola Umoja, led by the coalition's chairman, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, and its leader, Raila Odinga. However, on their three recommendations, the seven judges have descended heavily on IABC, making three specific recommendations on corporate governance issues election technology, and statutory reforms. On corporate governance issues, the Supreme Court recommends that Parliament should consider enhancing the statutory and regulatory framework on the separate policy and administrative remit of IABC. The Commission ought to effect formal internal guidelines that delineate the policy, strategy, and oversight responsibility of the chairperson and the commissioners and develop institutionalized guidelines on how to manage the separation of administration and policy domains. The roles of the chairperson, commissioners, and the chief executive officer, other staff, and third parties should be clearly set out in both the legislative and administrative edicts. On the election technology, the court says to avoid suspicion from stakeholders unless where and when it is absolutely necessary, access to the server supporting the transmission and storage of forms 34A, 34B and 34C should be restricted to IBC staff during the election period and that IABC should ensure that the server supporting the elections and those serving their internal administrative work are distinct and separate. This would allow the court, should the need arise, to carry out forensic imaging of the same without compromising and or infringing on any third party agreements. Regarding statutory reforms, the Supreme Court recommends that IEBC may consider simplifying and restructuring Form 34A and include a column that accounts for stray ballots. In addition, it may consider having only one section for total valid votes. IBC ought to put in place specific mechanisms to allow for special voting as contemplated under Regulation 90 of the Elections Regulations 2012. Concerning constitutional reforms, the highest court in the country has revisited the 2017 Raila Odinga presidential election petition regarding the need to extend the constitutional timeline within which to hear and determine a petition. And the court has underscored the need to extend the 14-day limit for purposes of efficient case management by the court and also to afford the parties sufficient time to ventilate their cases. Duncan Haimba, NTV.